Hello, so I'm back again uh, with the 3D printed beehive that I told you I would um, make a video after it was completed. Um, so I made it larger than uh, 10 frame deep. I made it a 30 frame deep. They call it a long Langstroth hive. Uh, there's a few videos on um, YouTube that you can watch the Langstroth hive and um, how how they've modified it to be longer so that you don't have to stack it. So that's the idea is not stacking but having the build, bees build out instead of uh, building up. So they do work um, and uh, the, the fella that I seen the video on he's uh, very knowledgeable and anyways I, I recommend you searching uh, Long Lang uh, hive and just uh, seeing how they put them together. I have one that's fully wood outside already um, but I like this because the you know you got the ledge right here that your frames are gonna fit on and um, by 3, 3D printing it it's a lot more accurate it slides side to side real smooth so if you had to move them um, it's not bad so anyways uh, you got that this will fit uh, 30 frames it's about 45 inches long on the outside um, so I got the I got the um, the prints off of Maker World for Bamboo Labs um, P1S combo is what I used uh, the combo is a color change printer, however, I didn't need to color change, just needed to be white. I used about uh, four rolls of filament on this, uh, and it took probably four days, four 24-hour days of printing non-stop to make this. So it just goes to show the large projects you can make. Each segment, you know, you have to bolt on with these plastic screws that are also 3D printed. But, um, anyway, so I'm going to encase the entire thing in wood all around it. I'm going to leave a little gap up top so that, that way I can put slats across about yay wide. Um, because what happens is on a long Langstroth hive, you want slats to go across so when you open the chest they don't come flying out all the bees don't come flying out um, and so you make them somewhat tight to where bees can't get in between the slats and come come at you um, the whole idea really is to uh, get the um, get these covered all of these need to be covered so that that way uh, you know let's say that you don't want to get into where the um, where the queen is or if you don't want to get into where the brood is but you just want to check like you know maybe they're storing honey over here uh, you just take the slat off where the honey is and then you don't have to disturb any of the rest of the hive so you just pull that slat off and then you pull that frame out put it back in you know and then you can also you can make the slats a little bit wider a little bit thinner um, depending because then you can have an option of putting a wider one sliding it over in an area um, you know allowing you to have a little bit larger access but you can make make them out of wood or um, it'd probably take a large 3d printer to print them but you'd have to print them in segments um, but anyways so there it is a long Langstroth hive um, hopefully once I get it all together with the legs on it and uh, the bottom board underneath it and the lid on top of it um, I could take a video and, and show everybody uh, it'd be nice to take a video when I actually get some bees inside of it but there you go um, from the Bamboo Labs P1S uh, combo printer thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my videos if you like my projects um, I would like to have many more subscribers uh, I've got uh, almost a hundred videos on there and I'm looking to put a lot more. I'm trying to add more 3d printing videos for everybody So thanks again